This is going to be the next part of the series on taking notes in your Bible. And this time we're looking at a topic again. Remember, a while back I showed you the mysteries in the Bible. And I mentioned how we could go through and look at each mystery. And this is my favorite one. It's the mystery of godliness. And this has to do with the fact that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And I've got my um, notes for it in... 1st Timothy, if you look at 1st Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 16, it says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. So what's this mystery about? It's about that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. So why do we believe that Jesus is God? Well, one of my favorite verses is Hebrews 1.8. And that shows the Father himself saying that the Son is God. He says unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. So the Father calls the Son God. So if the Father's calling him God... Who are you to say that Jesus Christ is not God? Now, there's some things we don't understand about the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to explain it because that's what gets people off into some crazy false teachings. All I know is that it's one God. Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And when it comes to trying to explain it, perfectly I, I can't do it but the father is god jesus christ is god the holy spirit's god and there's one god but what are some reasons why i believe jesus christ is god the first reason is because he's sinless first peter 2 22 says who did no sin second corinthians 5 21 says who knew no sin hebrews 4 15 says He's yet without sin. Hebrews 7.26 says he's holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners. What you have in Jesus Christ is the sinless Son of God, God manifest in the flesh. That's the first reason why I believe he's God. Another reason is because of the virgin birth. In Isaiah 7.14 it says a virgin shall conceive if you've got the King James Bible. In Romans 1, 3, Paul proves he's born of a virgin. He says, And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. It talks about how he's of, from, from David, according to the flesh. But he's the Son of God, you see. Mary was with child of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 1, 18, 18, and Matthew 1, 20. She knew not a man in Luke 1, 34 through 35. Through Mary, he's from David. But remember, the seed comes from the man, which would be God. He was the virgin birth. She was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. You see, he didn't get a sin nature from man because he didn't have an earthly father. It's the virgin birth. A virgin shall conceive. And he's plainly, the Bible says, he's God in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16, God was manifested in the flesh. John 1.14, the word was made flesh. Well, 1 John 1.1, 1, 1, the word was God. John 1.14, the word was made flesh. In Matthew 1.23, it says, God with us. They called him Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. I mean, what do you say when you get to John 1.1 1, 1 and it says the Word was God? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And then when you got down to verse 14, it would say the Word was made flesh. And 1 Timothy 3.16, the verse we're talking about, plainly says... God was manifested in the flesh. There's no other way around it. 
A lot of people don't believe Jesus is God. I've talked to so many people, and they'll look at me like I'm crazy when I say Jesus is God, and they'll say, oh, I thought it was just his son. But the forgetting by calling him his son, you're actually making him God. You know, because man begets man, God begets God. You can't explain it. I'm not going to sit here and try to explain fully the Godhead to you. We just know that if you're a Bible believer, you're going to believe Jesus is God. That's what many times separates a Bible believer from a cult. The cults don't believe Jesus is God. They believe he was a good man. They believe he was just some prophet, but they don't believe he's God. If you're a Bible believer, then you believe he's God. And maybe you just didn't understand that Jesus is God. Maybe you just didn't think about it. But now you know. This is one of the most important doctrines, doctrines in the Bible. The mystery of godliness. God manifested in the flesh. I would have this wrote down in my Bible. That way you could easily turn to 1 Timothy 3.16. Plainly show somebody how Jesus is God. He's God manifested in the flesh.